I'm really interested by the conversations you're all having because there are so many. In fact, um, here's what I want you to do just for a second because you've been able to look at the answers of the people nearby you. Can you just, if you're at the front of the room, hold your book backwards. And if you're at the back of the room, hold your book. Everyone hold their book. I just want you to all look around at each other's books and how different, hold up the velocity, sorry, the speed graph is the one I'm interested in, okay? I don't know, I don't know if I see a single graph that is the same, even though we're all looking at the same distance time graph. But it's, <laughs> that's right. This is, this is democracy, okay, you can put your books down. All right, let's have a think about how we can put this together, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is an approach that you might remember from when we looked at just random graphs and tried to find out derivatives, right? Let's have a think again about some important points that are here. And if you've done yours like mine and put your speed time graph directly below your height time graph, you can get out a ruler and just do it vertically and note out some interesting things. For example, this is the first interesting point that we all observed. The stationary point, right? That's the top of his journey. We call it a stationary point because where is Cannon Man going? What direction is he moving at that instant in time? The speed is zero. He's not going anywhere. The speed is zero. So when I look at my speed graph, if I want the speed to be zero, I'm going to... Uh, so many hands, here we go. I draw this all the way down and I encourage you to do the same, right? I've got a vertical line there representing, it's the same time coordinate. Right, same time coordinate, time whatever, I don't know, one and a half seconds or something like that. I don't even know what it is, right? But importantly, the speed at this instant in time is going to be zero. The speed is going to be zero at that instant. Is the speed ever zero at any other time? No. Rasm? At the end, I suppose he lands, doesn't he? Like here? He lands, so I, I didn't draw the rest. I guess I could have drawn the rest of the graph, hey? Did anyone else? I just stopped, time stopped existing. Cannon Man just disappeared. Or for some of you, he just appeared and disappeared at random. So I, he, um, if a Cannon Man is not flying through the air, does he even exist? Anyway, so uh, that's what's happening. So from that point on, time is also, sorry, speed is also zero. Where's my orange? Here we go. I'll pop that there. But apart from that, he's always in motion. Do you agree? He's always moving, so his speed every other time is going to be positive. You okay with that? Rasson, do you have a thought or a question? What about the beginning when he has a gunshot? Yeah, let's come to that. So the beginning is a point of contention for a lot of you, right? Some of you have it here, some of you have it here, some of you have it here, all different kinds of shapes, right? Let's think about what is happening to Kanemet at the instant when you press play. Is he moving as soon as you press play? Yeah. He is, right? Because he's been shot out of the cannon, presumably. There's no countdown or anything like that. No 3, 2, 1. As soon as you hit play, off he goes, right? So that means that speed is not zero at that point in time. That would mean he's not going anywhere. Speed is going to be some kind of positive value. Now, admittedly, we do not have any scale on this. So whether it's high or whether it's low does not matter too much. But I'm going to put him somewhere up here because as soon as he starts going, what happens to his speed? It slows down. Why is that? I drew it up in green for you. Yeah, the, the instant he starts flying up, gravity is trying to slow him down. By the way, gravity is already doing that when he's in the cannon, right? What's stopping him from going, like he's in the cannon right now, he's sitting there. Why isn't he dropping when he's in the cannon? He's on the ground. In other words, the, f the ground, the cannon, is exerting a force upwards. So that's why you all are not moving anywhere, right? It's actually the electromagnetic force of the carpet that's exerting a force upward on your feet. And you're not going anywhere. It's exactly counter gravity, which is why you're not going anywhere. Make sense? Yeah. But once he's moving, gravity's like, aha, I can do stuff now, right? So he starts to actually accelerate him downwards. So this is going to start dropping, right? Do you agree? Now, just for a second, look up for a minute. I need something to cover this. This will do. Can you just have a look at that shape there? Just have a look at it, right? I'm going to try and flex your calculus brain now, which you've sort of been doing, but informally. What does that shape look like? That shape? It looks like a parabola, right? Which is not a coincidence, by the way. So if you had a shape like this, a parabola, what would you guess its equation might look something like? Linear. x squared plus bx plus 
This is a parabola, right? So there's going to be an x squared. This is a quadratic. Very good. Now, it's a parabola, right? Now, by the way, it's, um, it's facing downwards, right? It's concave down, right? So instead of having x squared, which is concave up, it'll be something like minus x squared, and then there'll be some other terms to get it into the right position, all that kind of thing, okay? Now, if we took this object, this guy here, Let's think about this with all of the calculus stuff you've developed. If you differentiated this, what would you get? Can you describe this to me geometrically now? This is a straight line. Can you tell me, is it going up, is it going down? It's going down, right? It's a straight line going down. Now why should a derivative connect this to this, right? Well, speed is nothing but the change in height Compared to the change, the change in time. That's what it is. I should point out it's, it's just the positive value. So I'm going to chuck some absolute values there. It's all the positive side. But this idea of, oh, I know what this shape is. It's a parabola, right? That's what all objects under gravity do. So therefore, I should have not a curvy line, but a straight line connecting me to this spot here where you suddenly stop at the top. Does that make sense? Have a look at your graph. Think about what you've got and how different that is, right? This is, not, this is not stuff that we did in abstract, so it's like, oh, I just know how to move this algebra around. It tells you how to interpret a physical situation. Okay, so we've gotten so far from launch to the top of Cannon Man's flight path, right? What happens after that? Parachute. Yeah, he... Wait, 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 before, before the parachute. This is, I'm only at the top here, right? Been... Gary, what are you seeing? It, it sort of goes up a bit, right? Now, hold on a second. Look, you've got a parabola here, right? It's still, look at this instant in time here. It's still a parabola, right? So when you differentiate this, what would you expect to get? Still a straight line. Something like that. You okay with that? Um, why have I stopped? Because the parachute opens, okay? Now, you all describe this to me as a straight line. That would mean its equation is something like, you know, minus, I don't know, like a half x or something like that, it's quite gentle, and then it's going to have some y-intercept up here, so I don't know what that is. But what happens when you differentiate that? You, get a constant. you just get a constant. In other words, when you graph a constant, you get a, a not just a straight line, because this is a straight line. Horizontal. You get a horizontal line, right? So you're getting something like that, right? How, does that make sense? Yeah? Now, since we decided to ask this question, when I get to the end here, what happens? He's landed. What happens to his speed? Drops. It drops. Does it, does it like sort of take a second to drop down? No. It doesn't. In fact, it's already there at that instant. And then he's not moving, right? Because he's on the ground. So we've got this kind of break that happens here, right? Which is a bit weird, but that's just what he's doing. Okay. So we don't need a line from up into down there? Um, this thing here, right? The connection between these two. We'll talk about this in a little bit more detail later. But if you remember when we talked about continuity, right? It's kind of like I'm not, I'm, not in, I'm not in the middle here. I'm either moving or I'm stopped. Right? So it's not like he sort of transitions between one or the other. Does that make sense? Zachy, question? Oh, I mean, I was saying. Oh, yeah. Like, or thought. Just a couple of problems with the graph. Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, I always emphasize um, the rate of, I know you said don't use the word deceleration. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the rate of deceleration surely wasn't constant from you know, his, his initial trajectory. And the current way that you've got the where the horizontal line starts suggests that his at the, at the event of the parachute, his rate of decline is the exact same without the parachute. It will drop. Hold on a second. Can you say that last bit again? And I want you all to listen carefully because I'm listening really carefully. This language obviously really matters here. Can you say it again? I just want to make sure I really understand what you're saying. Make sure I don't stumble here. Yeah, that's okay. The the, uh, the the graph implies that at the event of the parachute. You're talking about this point here. Yep. Yep. The rate, um, the speed of his decline does not drop at all. It's mm -hmm. the exact same speed that he would have been anyways. Yep. So you're talking about the fact that at this point here, surely it should take some time to slow him down. Is that what you mean? No, I meant that um, when, you, when you deploy the parachute, there should be an immediate change in speed. Is there not an immediate change in speed? Or are you saying I've got an immediate oh, change in speed? Or? The speed, because... Um, yeah, so, so I was saying... Oh, I think I see what you mean. Yep. 
you know, he's, he's moving at an increasing speed and then he would suddenly drop down in speed. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I think you're right, actually. So I've got an issue here, right? I've got a break here for when he hits the ground. But in fact, I think you're correct in saying that there's a gradient change here to here, right? Because in fact, and that's the whole point, because otherwise he'd hit splat on the ground. What should I do to fix this graph up if this Maybe graph has a problem? Down. You're saying, wait, what do you mean by down? Decreasing downwards. Downwards? Like as in like that? Yeah. yeah. Line just a bit, no, I think, I think just a line disconnected. Uh, so I'm getting a few ideas. Matt, can you explain what you mean by disconnected? So like instead of just continuing the line and just moving it straight at horizontal, so just like put disconnect the line, end it there at the top, and then end it here. Move it. Yeah. yeah. And then move it. Move ah, okay. So let's shift this whole thing. Let's get this on a different color here. So we're saying something like. Oh, uh, should we? How's, how's that? Is that okay? Yeah. I just I just made that that height up. Okay, Gary, do you have a question? Shouldn't it still be connected? Though? Shouldn't it still be connected? That's a good question. Yes. We've just a few of you are saying it should be disconnected, and well, I've got two versions of the graph here, right? Which one is a more accurate representation of what's happening? What do you think, Shan? None. Neither of them. <laughs> I don't like option A or B. So None of the above. Is, I'll come to you in a second, Zaki. What you're saying there is. Even when the parachute opens, he's still going at the same speed, but wouldn't he slow down slowly, slowly, and then once he touches the ground, it would be zero? Is he? Let's think about this. Now, I did ask you to close your laptops, unfortunately, but think about what, what can a man is doing, right? Does he, does he slow down during this section here? Yeah. Does he slow down? When he opens his parachute, the speed at which he's falling is the same oh, yeah. until he hits the ground. I think. Let me repeat what you just said, Zachy. When he opens the parachute, his speed until he hits the ground is the same, which is why hopefully, as you tried it out, right, some of you might have started with a curved line here, and then you hit play, and you're like, wait, that's not what Cannon Man is doing. And then you fixed it up, and you're like, okay, a straight line here, a straight line. So if you've got a straight line here, its derivative, its speed in this case, is going to be constant. But shouldn't the speed of um, oh. gravity affected by height? Say that again. Shouldn't the speed be different because gravity is affected by height? Ha, ah, shouldn't the speed be different because the gravity is affected by height? Yeah, Here's where I'm going to um, suggest to you at this point, right? Um, all models, this is a model of what's going on, right? All models are lies. But some, some lies are useful. So in this case, you're right. I mean, if, if Kahneman was like up in the upper atmosphere, right? That's going to have a different effect on gravity because gravity is, a, is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Yes? No? Sure. Sure, okay. <laughs> no one who's studying physics here is correcting me. The engineer in the back of the room is not correcting me either. Um, so you're correct. However, for the purposes of this very simplified model, in fact, for our purposes, it does not change. At least not in a way that we can measure because we're just eyeballing it anyway. Okay? So I think Zaku is correct. There is actually a slowdown. You can see it there in the gradient. What is this? It's a measure of the gradient of this thing. But I'm just taking the positive part, okay? I should uh, fix this up. Let's see. I don't know. Put that there. And that's pretty different to what everyone had, including me the first time when I drew it. Are you happy with that? 